Well, the California High Speed Rail Authority was established in 1996 with the sole charge to plan, design, build, and then bring into operation the high speed rail project. The estimate at the moment for the phase one program is about $64 billion. It's the largest infrastructure project in the United States. The money was a mix of federal funds and state funds. We also expect that we will have private investment in the project in order to bring it to fruition. Um, some of the, the ridership and the population in the state of California is such that we expect there will be a significant interest in uh, companies investing in the completion of the project because of uh, the size of the market that we would serve. We're not a large public entity. We're really employing a public-private partnership approach to uh, bringing this project to fruition. We have about 200 people total working at the authority spread across four offices. We have employed a number of the top private contractors in train technology, tunneling and civil infrastructure technology, financial analysis to support us uh, in our mission to build the train. We will ultimately um, select and hire an independent company to operate the project uh, at a profit so that the differing revenues of the project go into paying for the operations and maintenance. So if you think about it, unlike our freeways that we build and then are on the state dime for their entire existence in terms of all of the maintenance that we do, this project, once it's built, then is operated like a private business. We're looking at how we can bring high-speed service with the least amount of impact. And so there are existing rail corridors serving both uh, San Francisco area and the Southern California area. We're looking at and we'll be uh, either adding more track to bring high-speed rail into that existing corridor or sharing the existing track that is in the corridor. We will, of course, have to build in the electrical systems and things that the electric trains need. We may need to improve the tracks um, and make them, uh, you know, bring them up to the 21st century standards in some places. Uh, but the idea really is to make sure we can get high-speed trains into the urban core um, in the easiest way that we can possibly get them in there. And we're only talking about the last you know, few tens of miles, about the last 40 miles uh, from the Burbank area down to Anaheim in Southern California, and then essentially the peninsula in Northern California, which is about the last 50 miles.